Ever wondered if being frugal means you're just being cheap? Like are you that person everyone secretly judges when the bill comes? There's a fine line between saving money and just being, well, kind of a cheapskate. In this video we're diving into that gray area, those everyday scenarios where you might be tempted to pinch pennies a little too hard. We'll figure out together if you're being financially savvy or just plain cheap. Alright, let's talk tipping, always a hot topic. Is it ever okay to under tip to save a few bucks? But hold on, let's think about the bigger picture. Tipping is how many service workers make a living. It's part of their expected income and skimping on it can actually hurt them financially. Plus, good service deserves to be rewarded, don't you think? Now I'm all for saving money, but not at the expense of someone else's livelihood. If you genuinely can't afford to tip, maybe that kind of dining out isn't in the budget right now. Choose a more affordable place or stick to cooking at home. Remember, being frugal is about being smart with your money, not being stingy. When you're budgeting for a meal, factor in the tip from the beginning. That way, you won't be surprised by the final bill, and you won't be tempted to undertip. And hey, if you're really strapped for cash, there are other ways to show your appreciation for good service. A simple thank you goes a long way. The bottom line is this, be mindful of the impact your actions have on others. Let's be real, there's no shame in loving a good deal. And coupons? They're like little golden tickets to savings. Whether it's groceries, clothes, or that new gadget you've been eyeing, coupons can save you some serious cash. But there's a fine line between being a savvy shopper and being a coupon hoarder. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for stocking up on essentials when they're on sale. But buying something you don't need just because you have a coupon, that's where things can go wrong. You're not actually saving money if you're spending money on stuff you wouldn't normally buy. Make a list of what you actually need before you even think about looking at coupons. This will help you stay focused and avoid impulse purchases. Use a combination of coupons and store loyalty programs to maximize your savings. Many stores offer digital coupons through their apps, so you don't even have to clip anything. Remember, coupons are tools to help you save money, not dictate your spending habits. Okay, we've all been there. You buy something, get it home, and realize it's just not quite right. Maybe it doesn't fit, maybe you found it cheaper somewhere else, or maybe you just changed your mind. Whatever the reason, returns are a reality of shopping. But there's a difference between making a legitimate return and abusing the system. Here's the thing. Returning items can actually cost businesses a lot of money. They have to process the return, restock the item, and sometimes even absorb the cost if the item can't be resold. So, while it's totally fine to return something you genuinely need to return, constantly buying stuff with the intention of returning it just isn't cool. Think of it this way, would you want someone to buy a bunch of clothes from your business, wear them once, and then return them? Probably not. Now if you do need to make a return, make sure you're familiar with the store's return policy. Taking a little extra time to think things through can save you a lot of hassle in the long run. Who says you need to be rich to travel? With a little planning and some savvy strategies, you can see the world without breaking the bank. Traveling on a budget isn't about sacrificing experiences, it's about being smart with your money so you can have even more amazing adventures. First things first, let's talk flights. Flight prices can fluctuate like crazy, so timing is everything. Consider traveling during the off-season or shoulder season when prices are typically lower. And don't be afraid to fly to a smaller airport or take a connecting flight if it saves you money. Next up, accommodations. Hotels can eat up a big chunk of your budget, but there are plenty of alternatives. Hostels are a great option for budget travelers, and Airbnb can be a more affordable and often more authentic way to experience a new city. When it comes to food, skip the tourist traps and eat like a local. Check out local markets, grocery stores, and street food stalls for delicious and affordable meals. Remember, the best travel experiences are often the ones that are unplanned and unexpected. Let's be real, money and friends can be a tricky combination. You want to be generous and treat your friends, but you also don't want to overspend and put yourself in a financial bind. So, how do you balance frugality with friendship? It's all about communication and setting boundaries. Before you go out with friends, have an open and honest conversation about the budget. Are you all down for a fancy dinner or are you thinking more along the lines of a casual pizza night? Setting expectations beforehand can prevent any awkwardness or resentment later on. 
If you're splitting the bill evenly, make sure everyone is aware of what they're ordering and how much it costs. And hey, if you're on a tight budget, don't be afraid to suggest alternative activities that are more affordable. Movie nights, potlucks, game nights, and hikes are all fun and budget-friendly ways to hang out with friends. Remember, true friends will understand and respect your financial limitations. All right, let's talk about gas prices, a topic that can make even the calmest person break a sweat. It's no secret that gas prices can be a major source of stress for many drivers. Whether you're commuting to work, running errands, or planning a road trip, the cost of fuel is always a consideration. With prices constantly fluctuating, it's tempting to drive miles out of your way to save a few cents per gallon. You might find yourself checking multiple gas price apps, comparing prices at different stations, and planning your route based on where you can get the cheapest fuel. But is it actually worth it? Here's the thing. You need to factor in the cost of your time and the extra mileage you're putting on your car. Every mile you drive not only uses up gas but also adds wear and tear to your vehicle. Plus, the time you spend driving to a cheaper gas station could be spent doing something more productive or enjoyable. Driving 10 miles out of your way to save 10 cents per gallon might seem like a good deal. But when you consider the wear and tear on your car and the time you're wasting, it might not be such a bargain after all. The cost of maintenance such as oil changes, tire rotations, and other routine services can add up over time. And let's not forget the depreciation of your car's value with every extra mile you put on it. Instead of becoming a slave to the gas price apps, try these strategies. First, maintain your car regularly. Keeping your vehicle in good condition can improve its fuel efficiency and save you money in the long run. Proper tire pressure, regular oil changes, and a clean air filter can all improve your gas mileage. Second, drive efficiently. Simple changes in your driving habits can make a big difference in how much gas you use. Avoid speeding, accelerating quickly, and braking hard, all of which can waste gas. Third, consolidate your errands. Planning your trips more efficiently can reduce the number of miles you drive and the amount of gas you use. Instead of making multiple short trips throughout the week, try to group your errands into one or two longer trips. This not only saves gas but also reduces the wear and tear on your car and saves you time. Remember, saving money on gas is great, but not if it means sacrificing your time and sanity. It's important to find a balance between saving money and maintaining your quality of life. So next time you're tempted to drive out of your way for cheaper gas, consider the bigger picture and make a choice that works best for you. Ah, parking the bane of every driver's existence. Finding a parking spot can feel like winning the lottery, and then there's the cost. Whether you're circling the block for street parking or shelling out big bucks for a garage, parking can really put a dent in your wallet. So how do you navigate the parking predicament without losing your mind or your savings? It's all about weighing your options and prioritizing your needs. If you're short on time and don't mind spending a little extra, paying for parking might be the best option. Look for parking garages that offer early bird specials or discounted rates for online bookings. And don't forget to check for validation at restaurants, stores, and other businesses in the area. If you're on a tight budget and have some time to spare, street parking can be a great option. Download a parking app that shows you real-time parking availability and prices. Be prepared to walk a few blocks and always check for parking restrictions and permit requirements. Remember, parking doesn't have to be a stressful experience. Dollar stores, those magical places where everything seems like a steal. But are dollar store deals too good to be true, or are they a frugal shopper's paradise? The truth is, it depends. Dollar stores can be a great place to find bargains on certain items, but you need to be selective. First, let's talk about what to buy at the dollar store. Cleaning supplies, party supplies, greeting cards, and seasonal decorations are often significantly cheaper at the dollar store than at traditional retailers. You can also find good deals on school supplies, kitchen gadgets, and toiletries. However, there are some things you should avoid buying at the dollar store. Food items, especially perishable goods, can be of lower quality and may not be as good of a deal as you think. When shopping at the dollar store, always check the quality of the items before you buy them. And remember, just because something is only a dollar doesn't mean you need to buy it. So there you have it, the ultimate guide to being frugal, not cheap. Remember, it's all about finding that balance between saving money and living a fulfilling life. Now, I want to hear from you. 
What are your best frugal living tips? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more personal finance tips and tricks, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload.